Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about these. Uh, this is what's called a Raspberry Pi. It's a little computer and I'm going to be telling you why I think every church should have one of these little boxes kicking around. So a Raspberry Pi computer is a little single board computer that's not much bigger than a pack of cards. They're fairly basic computers, they're originally designed for schools and for children to learn to do computer programming on, so they're fairly basic and fairly minimal computers. But this is the Raspberry Pi 4 which is the latest model and actually has a fairly high spec. In fact, Raspberry Pi claim that it's possible to use this as a standard desktop computer. And to be honest, I would believe that. I think it is probably possible that you could do that. It has two 4K HDMI outputs, and it has plenty of internal processing and RAM to be able to run most general office tasks. And the whole thing costs around about £100, maybe £120 for the whole computer with a case, all the bits that you need to get it up and running. Relatively inexpensive for what it is and what it can do. But that isn't why I think you should have one in your church. There are a number of uses for these computers for multimedia purposes and I'm going to share with you three uses today that I use mine for, for multimedia use and why I think they're really helpful for churches to have one of these as a kind of emergency thing that can sit in the cupboard and you can pull out when you need them. So the first reason I think they're worth having around is because it can work as an NDI video decoder. That means it can receive an NDI signal via the network connection and it will give you an HDMI feed out that you can then use to plug back into another piece of equipment or into part of your system. Now I made a little video about this the other week about how you can use one of these as the output source from ProPresenter if you want to send an NDI feed out of ProPresenter to pick that feed up with one of these and then display it on something like a stage view display. So go and check that video out if you want to see how to do that. The piece of software I use to make that happen is called Dicaffeine or Decaffeine, not quite sure how to pronounce it. But from within your Raspberry Pi, you're able to find this software, download it, install it and run this software on your Raspberry Pi as a way of being able to pick up that NDI feed. When the software is running, it will detect NDI feeds on your network and you can tell it to just play that feed back out as a video image. So that's the first way you can use a Raspberry Pi in your church. The second way we can use a Raspberry Pi is as a media player. Raspberry Pis will run the VLC media player software and this will allow you to play audio and video files and turn your Raspberry Pi into a small media center or media player. Now this could be a really useful thing if you do online church and have some kind of a uh, broadcast that's going out and you can use this if you want to play something out on your broadcast without it going into the room. So for example if before the service you have some kind of video that you want to play, an introduction or a welcome to the church before the service starts just as a way to be able to uh, introduce people to the church before the service starts for those who are gathering online you could load that into your uh, media player in here and play that from your Raspberry Pi out onto your broadcast and this could just be connected into your broadcast and any videos or audio that you want to play background music video sources out on your live stream play them off this connect it into whatever you've got going out for your live stream and there you go you have a media player for your live stream and the third way that you can use a raspberry pi in your church is to access your live stream you can access things like youtube from the browser inside raspberry pi 
This is a fantastic solution for things like crash rooms and breakout rooms. In the past, it's been quite hard for churches to be able to run cables all around their building to remote parts of the building where they might have some kind of a breakout room or a crash room or a green room or whatever you've got that's going on somewhere in the building that's a bit more remote, a bit more difficult to get to. Well, now we're all doing broadcast and we're sending a signal out anyway, we can quite easily pick that back up on our network and play it through a simple YouTube player or Facebook player or whatever you want to be using, access that via the browser, play that video back and you can pick up your live stream feed into one of those rooms and have it as a very simple way to be able to play what's going on in the church out to those more remote areas of the church building. So those are my three ways that I regularly use my Raspberry Pi in a church context. However, Raspberry Pis are really flexible, useful devices, and there are loads of other ways that you might use them as well. And if you have a Raspberry Pi and you do something different with it, why don't you go ahead and throw something down in the comments, let us know what you do, because there are so many ways that you could use one of these. If you're really feeling adventurous, you could even start writing your own piece of code to solve a problem that you already have in the church. But whatever it is, these are such useful little boxes. I would really encourage you to look at getting hold of one of these, particularly if there's already a problem that you're having and I've spoken about it, it can solve one of those things for you, then definitely this could be a really good option for you. But as I say, chuck your ideas in the comments below. It will be really helpful to hear what other people do with these as well. So that's it for today. Nice, short, simple one for you. If you found this helpful, I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up and if you can consider subscribing to the channel as well, that would be amazing. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys.